Okay, now that we have everything in place, we want to create a nice lighting effect for the background. I want to almost create like a hot spot on that backdrop. I want the outside edges a little darker, and I want more light centered around our head. So let's go to our layers palette. Click on the background and click new layer. Let's go over to our color palette. Click black. Click OK. Then take our paint bucket and click right in the Go up to our marquee tool. Start drawing. And position it where we want. And click delete. We select. And we go up to our filter, blur, Gaussian blur. You want to make sure that slider is all the way to the right so you have the full strength, then click OK. Now let me bring the box in here. Make sure we're clicked on the, that black layer, the new layer. Go up to the opacity, bring it all the way down, and then just bring it up to where you would like. And I'm happy at 24%. And then next, see the outside? That's why we darkened first, because now when we go to fix this edge, we'll get it to blend right into the background. If we look really close around the cutout, there's kind of a whiteness, and it has that cutout look. Well, we're going to clean that up right now so it looks more like she was shot in front of this backdrop. So to do that, let's go over to our color palette, click. We're going to sample a color from the jacket, click OK. We're going to go to our brush tool, make sure you can see that, our brush tool here. Make sure that we've selected a soft brush, okay? And we want darken. Now my tolerance for this is, I'm gonna start this at 26%. And I want the, my brush size just big enough to go over the edge. Okay, so before I start that, I wanna click on the models layer, and I wanna lock it. This way, whatever I do to the edge of this will not bleed out onto the background. Okay. You want to go just on the edge, and you can overlap into the background because it will not affect the background at all. <coughs> now you can see already, where it's just taken out some of that white. Now it looks a lot more natural. See how much better that looks? Now it, it doesn't look cut out. The next thing we're going to do with that, let's unlock the layer, come back, go to our blur tool, okay? And I'm going to go at 100% on the strength. Again, a soft brush, and I'm going to start with a small brush just to go over the edge and that's all we're going to do we're just going to blur out some of that edge there you go now it looks so much more natural okay i went ahead and did a fast forward and finished off all my jacket all the way around, and the same with her purple blouse. I sampled it, 
and I locked in with the layer and did the same thing. But now we need to do something with the hair. We have to do the exact same thing. So let's bring this up. Go to our color palette. Sample the color of the hair. Click OK. Go to our brush tool. And make sure that our variants are selected the same. We still have darken and do the same thing. And opacity is at 26%. That's where I'm going to start. Come back and click on this the models layer and lock it in. And now we can start. just want to go over some of the curls but remember now that it's locked in it won't bleed into the background and maybe right where there was some of that white area we can hit in at the top sides Now again, around the hair, it looks a lot more natural than it did before. Now, I want to unlock it. Go back to my blur tool and do the same thing. Just want to go over some of these sharp edges and give it a nice blur. Now we could actually bring that brush up a little bit. Now let's bring her out a little and look at it. And I think that looks a whole lot better. <clears throat> now she's really taking some shape and looking like she belongs in front of that backdrop. Okay. Let us come back. And we're going to clean up some of the blemishes here. Now, for the most part, she's got a beautiful complexion and there's not many marks to clean up. But what we're going to do is come to our healing brush. Not healing. Make sure. Okay. This one you don't have to sample. Just click over the spot. Let's make that just a little smaller. And there's a spot. There's a spot. There's a spot. There's a spot there. Oh, that was my cat. Sorry. We don't. Okay. <clears throat> now she looks really good. 